what I'm about to share is something many people, and I mean millions of people, are going to get upset about. But before sharing, I would like to give you some additional information regarding just how the Vatican was prophesied to operate in these last days so as to assure they have an easy way to control the masses when it comes time to enforce her mark. I posted a page on my website many years ago, and if you go to the RCC Exposed section, go to the horrific area, and then go down to Big Farm in Rome, you'll see this page. This page is in regards to the Vatican's involvement in the pharmaceutical drug industry worldwide. And I made the page because of what I found in prophecy regarding all this. When speaking of the Vatican, Revelation 18.23 says that it will be by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. Now, if you look into the original definition of the word sorcery used in the Bible, you'll find that it comes from the Greek word pharmakia, which is where we get the word pharmacy. And yes, that word pharmakia is defined as the use of administering drugs, as well as poisoning people. Now, many laughed at me when I posted my findings online years ago, but the laughing stopped when an article came out in June of 2012, which you can find on this page. And this article states that the Vatican, the Crown of England, Canada, and its churches, and big pharmaceutical companies, all of them, are accused of crimes against humanity and criminal conspiracy. Now, some of you may think I'm crazy with what I'm about to say next, but I also know most people agree with me when they look up, they look at their sky in their neck of the woods, and they see all sorts of trails in the sky left by planes. Now, yes, some may think these are harmless contrails that are nothing more than hot water vapors that are coming out of the back of the plane as it travels through that extremely cold atmosphere when you get that high up, but contrails always disappear after a few moments. Chemtrails do not. In fact, chemtrails continue to spread out and eventually blanket an area to then rain down on the people on the ground. The governments in bed with Rome are spraying all sorts of chemicals on their citizens using excuses like uh, weather modification tests to block sun rays to prevent what they claim is global warming. But the truth is now known as to what's in those chemtrails, as they can't stop the people on the ground from gathering this stuff up and then getting them tested. Notice this website here that I found just this morning. Okay, they talk about chemtrails, obviously, but they focus on California a little bit. And look at all these chemicals that they're finding in these chemtrails that are wafting down on, their, on, on the people and their children. And then I think here it's got some information about the, the Navy is uh, doing some open testing in the air, and they're finding these chemicals as well. They're doing this all over the world. And if you scroll down a little bit, You'll see this, uh, let's see, you get past all the counties in California, but then they got all the states here, and then, of course, they got all the countries that are already been caught doing this. And so if you look into this, all the nations that are doing this are, in fact, card-carrying members of Rome's international criminal court system that I mentioned a video or two ago, as well as having climate scientists as members of the Club of Rome. And you can see them here on this website. And notice this small handful of scientists. Now, some people might think, well, wow, that's 100 people. That's 100 scientists. you got to be kidding. That's a lot of guys, really. Check out that. Tens of thousands of scientists and over 9,000 of them with PhDs have proven that what these guys are talking about are lies. There is no such thing as global warming. So why did I share all that? Notice this coin on the screen right now. This was minted by the Vatican under the pontificate of Pope John Paul II. Notice the second image, which on screen is the back of the coin. Notice the map of the world, and right above it, there's an airplane spraying chemicals. And before you question this as being a photoshopped image, as I did at first, I looked around all over the place online, and I found this coin on a lot of coin collector websites. This coin's still being sold, in fact, by the Vatican, as well as this website right here on your screen for, what, eight euros? It's a coin that people collect. Now, yes... The chemtrails can be used as a way to modify weather, as well as use the weather as a weapon. That's a very convenient excuse for them to continue spraying. So as to calm some of the people down on the ground, making them think, well, this is just government testing, they're not really harming us. But if you look into those chemicals being sprayed that I showed you on this page, where you know you got all those that uh, the, the Navy's using and then all these that are showing up in California, if you look into these chemicals, you'll see that they can be used to sicken entire cities so as to enforce an executive order that I mentioned in my very first online newsletter many years ago. Executive order number 11004. John F. Kennedy put these executive orders on paper and then Jesuit-trained 
William Jefferson Clinton solidified them into law as actual executive orders. You need to check out that newsletter I did years ago. Executive order number 11004 deals with forced relocation of entire cities and populated areas that they deem unsafe, which they can actually make unsafe if they want to. And these chemicals can also be used to confuse the minds of the people and even permanently dumb down the minds of billions. These chemtrails are also used to calm down and even remove an individual's power to resist domination, just as Roman Catholic Emperor Adolf Hitler discovered by using fluoride in the water supplies of the nations he controlled, as well as his concentration camps. And yes, these chemicals can also be used to depopulate the planet in strategically selected regions. So the bottom line is this. The prophecy says Rome is going to use drugs to deceive the nations so as to make it easier for them to enforce the mark of the beast. And we are right now seeing them do just that. Christian prophecy is that accurate. Thank you for watching. God bless.